Well, good morning to you all, and thank you for inviting me to help celebrate Diverse Cymru's Ethnic Cultural Competence Scheme and to acknowledge the progress those who have taken part in it have made. Today, we also recognise World Mental Health Day and continue to celebrate Black History 365. We, as a government, are proud to fund the Cultural Competence Certification Scheme because we recognise the importance of developing good practice to ensure the services our organisations provide are fair and are equitable. As Welsh Government's BAME COVID-19 Advisory Group of the Socioeconomic Group clearly highlighted, Black, Asian and minority ethnic people in the United Kingdom face many inequalities. It is these disparities that lead people to have poorer life chances in all areas of life and we believe that organisations have a key part to play in overcoming this. Our Together for Mental Health Delivery Plan also recognises the inequalities and social determinants of health for our minority ethnic communities. The plan includes a broader range of actions, it retains the focus on implementation and it also incorporates ongoing work from previous plans and this includes the Diverse Cymru Accreditation Scheme. The scheme is part of our determination in Wales to make a new history, acting on lived experiences, however hard they are to hear, so that jointly we co-design the shape of an authentically anti-racist Wales, a Wales where all our different histories inform what we do and indeed what not to do in the future. It's the richness and strengths of the contributions that BAME people make and their communities to help Wales make that new history every single day. We celebrate Black History 365 every day of the year, but as we move through Black History Month, we also reflect on this year's theme, celebrating local heroes and sheroes, and to thank those who work so tirelessly within our communities. Diverse Cymru's Suzanne Duval and her colleagues who have developed and delivered the Ethnic Cultural Competence Scheme. Betty Campbell, whose legacy as a trailblazer and a change maker was globally recognised with the unveiling of her statue in our capital city recently. Professor Charlotte Williams' work on Cavnevin that led to Wales being the first country to make black history mandatory on the school curriculum. And Gaynor Legal's work on monuments and engaging senior leaders like Professor Ogbona, who have helped to steer our work on anti-racism that shows we are in the midst of making a different history. Congratulations also to all those who will be receiving their certificates today and also those who have embraced the Ethnic Cultural Competence Scheme. You are helping us to deliver on our promise of a fairer and more equal future as we create an anti-racist Wales by 2030.